The hate you give. The hate you give. The hate you give. Little infants. Little infants. F's everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mama and Daddy were born in Garden Heights. Mama left the garden when she was a little girl, and she wants us to get out too. Daddy says our life is here, because our people are here. It's about a young black woman kind of finding her voice. It's about speaking up, being heard. It's really about family and community. Star! <laughs> What's up? Star lives in different worlds, her lower income black community and her white private school. Garden Heights is one world, Williamson is another. So when I'm here, I'm Star version two. She's constantly having to split herself into two parts in order to fit into both worlds. I have to hide who I am. When I'm at home, I can't be too Williamson. When I'm here, I can't act too Garden Heights. This is about her awakening, this is about her journey and really realizing I'm gonna be who I wanna be. That's all challenged when this really tragic event happens. Go back where he told you. Khalil, I'm not playing, go back. <laughs> what did you do? She's the one and only witness. And now she is faced with the dilemma of, does she speak out? So when you're ready to talk, you talk. It's really challenging for Star to think about the level of responsibility that she'll take on in being public. I need to speak for him. It's about black people, poor people, everybody at the bottom. No matter who you are, find your purpose. Whatever you're here for, speak up and be heard. You too can get out here and be about change. Don't ever let nobody make you be quiet. Everybody who experiences struggle can take that struggle and turn it into something golden. We live in a complicated world. No, it doesn't seem that complicated to me. As a generation, it's time that we stand up and start taking responsibilities for our communities and take them back. The movie gives a message that's, you know, very real, but also very, very hopeful. I love being a part of a film that I think is really culturally, politically critical. Everybody.